Hi, uh, I'm Steven. And I'm Katie from PDQ.com. And today we're going to talk about LAPS. And we're going to show you how to set up a basic um, install of LAPS in your environment. Yeah, LAPS uh, is short for Local Administrator Password Solution. Uh -huh. uh, it keeps your local admin password set to something hard to remember, hard to guess, and uh, automatically changeable so that you don't have to remember to change all of your local admin passwords on all of your workstations. Mm -hmm. It, saves, it saves saving. all the local administrator passwords in Active Directory, so you can control the permissions of who can access those passwords. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty great. Easy to manage. Not yeah. too bad to set up if I do save so myself. So let's jump right in. You can see here, I wrote down our steps that we're going to follow today. Uh, first thing, of course, download Laps from Microsoft. And we just jumped ahead and put them here We've on got both the desktop. The... 64-bit and 32-bit MSIs, mm -hmm. so, yeah, dump them on the desktop. So then you choose a management machine that you'll um, run LAPS from. You can do multiple. So this environment that we're on right now is what we'll use here. Yep, we uh, probably don't want to put the management sh machine on one of maybe like your production servers, but you know, throw it on your workstation. Yeah, you got a test something machine. like that. Good place that you can get to if you need to. So launch the installer. Okay. There we go. So the setup is pretty easy, just, you know, blasting through. Next, 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 like you're used to. So these are the three components. We have the, the GUI, the fat client. We're going to want that. PowerShell mm -hmm. modules. Going to want that too. Yep. And then the group policy editor templates. So yeah. we'll, we'll explain all those. Oh. Yeah. All, Entire everything. feature. That's the good stuff. Yeah. Install. It's usually really quick. OK, now it's finished. Neat. So when we installed those group policy objects, it places them in the local store here on this computer. We want to move them up to the, the sysval so that they'll be synced across all your domain controllers so you can make uh, and edit the group policies from anywhere. So um, it drops them here in Windows Policy Definitions. And it, it's this one here, the admpwd.admx. And then there's another one in here, admpwd.adml. And so I already went ahead and copied it up to our um, domain controller. If you remember, it was crown, sysfall at this path. Just put them in here. So that way, when we go and um, edit the group policies, everything is synced across your whole domain. Yep, and you don't have to wander around to each one of your workstations and make the group policy change and mm -hmm. you know, set everything up. Just blast it all out once from your domain controller. Mm -hmm. So much easier. So we'll go back to the group policy. So we also need to set up um, some OUs and decide where, like, which machines are going to be managed by LAPS. So here in this test environment, I set up our Whiskey computers, which is where we're going to dump all the computers. Um, right now, we just have this one machine in it. But we're going to set up LAPS so that it manages this OU, Whiskey computers. Yep. So any machine that gets dragged into that, uh, any computer object that gets dragged into that OU will have the LAPS uh, group policies applied to it. Exactly. Easy to remember. I also set up an OU for um, the users, admins, and I created this group called LAPS Admins. Members of this group are going to be able to view passwords for the local administrators. Great thing about this is that the passwords are, I mean, they're random characters, mm -hmm. so your users aren't going to write them up on sticky notes and stick them to the cubicle wall. Yeah. But only the people who deserve to have access to the passwords, you know, yourself, other admins, mm -hmm. any of your, you know, bosses or anybody, you can just dump them in there and give them access and exactly. don't worry about it. So we got our OU set up. We know where we know we have everything planned out. So now we're going to run a few PowerShell commands using the new PowerShell module that we just barely installed. So I'm going to pull up PowerShell here. I'm going to move this so we have access here. So the first one we do, import the module that we just installed. Easy enough. Now, next, we need to update. We need to extend the schema. Um, so LAPS is going to extend the schema so that we can put these new fields into Active Directory, like the password fields and a few other things. Yes, and extending the schema is a pretty big change for your domain. So I mean, this is not a really terrifying change to make to your domain. But mm. if you know you think back to this moment in the future, and you're like, oh, extending the schema, it was so easy in LAPS. You know, take a moment and research. Yeah, because you can do some pretty good damage if you do something terrible to your schema. This one should be safe, though. Simple enough. Yep, and I mean, 
Not too bad. No errors yep, yet. Few, few new fields. It's always heartening. So the next, um, and then if if you want, we can view the last extended writes right now. Um, I already ran these commands, so we're going to see um, domain controllers default, and then we're also going to see the lapse admins. Uh, if it's off off the screen a little bit, but you can Not see yet. here domain admins and, and lapse admins are the have the extended rights. The next command that we'll want to run is this one here. This is going to allow computers um, to write like write level access so that they can reset passwords and expirations. Run that. Neat. Easy enough. The next one, uh, we talked about setting up that LAPS admins group. So we're going to allow that group to be able to read passwords. Yep. Notice it says whiskey computers in there, which is where we put our mm -hmm. LAPS admins. Or where we're going Done. to put future ones. Mm -hmm. OK, so ne the next command that we're going to run, we're going to allow the LAPS admins to reset the password. And you'll notice that we ran it once already. We used to movie magic. And You'll see our that. error message because we typed the wrong OU. Yep. So the OU, again, is the Whiskey Computers, and Lapse Admins is the allowed group. Yep. And this time it worked. Good. It's amazing when things exist. So everything's set up, ready to go with as far as permissions and updating the schema and all that stuff. Um, now we need to make a group policy object to, to set this up um, and link it to the Lapse Managed Machines. So I already did this in advance, so we'll just take a look at what was changed. Created this laps policy group policy object. Let's edit that. So policies, administrative templates, and then this laps thing is here now. So you want to at least enable these three, one, two, and, and the fourth one. First, we'll go into password settings. Um, you can choose a password length. The default is, I think, just 14 characters, so I bumped it up higher. Give it 32. Make it yeah, really. Pretty secure. Really gnarly. Password age, 30 days. That's kind of the standard. That's good. We'll leave it at that. Yep. Set it to enabled. Now so. we have to feed it the actual name of the account. Because if you've, you know, mm -hmm. you don't want to use administrator, you want to use something like local admin or whatever, you've got to give it the name. Mm -hmm. Ours is called Lapse Admin. There actually is some controversy about this. A lot of people say that you should just use the built-in administrator account. So we'll just leave it up to you to do the research and decide what you want to do in your situation. But we're, we did set up, a, a, we're going to do a different uh, administrator account on each computer called Lapse Admin. Yep. And a good resource as you're going through all of this is the guide that Microsoft puts out for mm -hmm. how to manage Lapse in your environment. They do a great job, and it's definitely something that you want to consider as you're making definitely. big changes. That one's enabled too. And then we'll enable local admin master management. Yeah, Turn it on. on. Click OK. So this that's all you need to set up. Close out of that. I linked it to our uh, Whiskey computers. So laps policy is there. And after that, we're ready to go. Yep. Now, uh, whenever the computers in that OU check in with group policy, they'll get those settings that we just set. Mm -hmm. So the very last thing we need to do is deploy LAPS out to your machines. Um, we're going to do that with PDQ Deploy, of course. This is something that you could if you're feeling enterprising uh, set up to distribute through group policy. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to challenge, yeah. go do that. We found it to be a little bit easier. Maybe we're a little bit biased, but yeah. <laughs> deploy is definitely a little easier. So I have this package here called Deploy LAPS. So the first step I did is I, I actually created that local administrator local administrator account on each machine um, using PowerShell. A little, dif little difficult to uh, edit the password of a user who doesn't exist. Yeah, and there is a way to do it through group policy, but it requires a patch and there's security problems. So I, th I found that PowerShell is the easiest method to create the, the account. Um, doesn't have a password, and then I add it to the administrators group. Next step, install app 64-bit. Um, we have we have an extra parameter because we're using a, a custom local administrator account name. So custom admin name, lapse admin. And this is the 64-bit MSI, so I created a condition to only deploy to 64-bit machines. Then we mirrored that and just did the same thing for 32-bit with the 32-bit MSI. And then as a last step, it'll run GP update to update 
make That's sure awesome. it pulls down all the settings and yeah. it's good to go. Exactly. So now that you've created the package, deploy it out to all the machines in your environment, and it'll install apps, update the group policy, pull everything down. And then after that, you can pull up the, um, the Laps UI right here. You can put in a computer name. And this is Laps Enrichment. And it'll pull up the password. Neat. There it is. And well, that's, yeah. yeah. So you can copy and paste that. You can use that to log on or whatever you need to do with that local admin account. And that is everything. That is Laps. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. This is Steven. And I'm Katie. With PDQ.com. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.